Hey YouTube. Okay, uh, what we're going to talk about now is how to uh, get your hammock tied to the tree strap around the tree. We did a video on tree straps and the different ways of putting those up. Now we're going to attach the hammock to it. Okay, that all together is known as your suspension system. All right, uh, there are a number of different systems that can be used to hang your hammock to the strap. Some of them are more advanced than others. Some are lighter than others. A lot of it has to do with what your prime goal is. For new people, my suggestion is cinch buckles. Okay, uh, there's not a steep learning curve with a cinch buckle. <laughs> you put a belt on before. It's basically it. You're tying your hammock to the strap the same way you would put a belt around your waist. Okay? It's easy to adjust. It's easy to find at night uh, if it's dark for you to fiddle around and, and feel the different components and know what they do. Uh, it's easily adjusted after a load has been applied to it. Okay? Other systems like whoopee slings get a little finicky after a load has been applied, okay? Uh, so we're not going to talk about whoopee slings. The best video ever done on whoopee slings was by Suge Emery. I've got a link to it right down here. If you're on your PC, you can see the link. Click on that if you want to learn about whoopee slings or if you just want to have a good time, click on that link, okay? In the meantime, I'm going to go out there on the gear display area and show you just how easy a cinch buckle system can be. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, well here it is. There's the cinch buckle. It's on the end of my big gray weenie. My big gray hammock. I got a video about that. And it's real it's simplicity in itself. You just run the strap through and then in again and there you go. Now you can adjust it for length. You hook the one up on the other end. You do the same thing. Now you can adjust your hammock. Up or down. One end or the other. Very simple. Everybody knows how to use a belt. Okay. Once you've got your hammock hung up to your buckle, and set the right way to where you can lay down in it and you're happy with where it is. Just double over the strap, run it over the top, and through itself. Okay, and tie a little knot right there at the end of the buckle. Okay, now that buckle shouldn't slip. Excuse me, that buckle shouldn't slip. But in case it does, that knot will keep it from doing it. To take it off, you can just pull that knot right out and you continue to adjust. Okay? That's why I go with the cinch buckle. Okay, now another reason why I recommend uh, cinch buckles is if you use a piece of hardware to cinch your tree strap around the tree. And we show that in the tree strap video. Uh, in this case, it's a Dutch buckle, one of the original uh, designs. Uh, you don't have to take your strap off of your hammock. Okay, You can just detach the strap from the tree. And now your strap stays with your hammock. Now what that means is, is you'll never leave your tree strap on a tree. If you're laying in your hammock and you wake up all of a sudden you realize that you've been enjoying the comfort and warmth of your hammock and it's now 9.30 and you've got 12 more miles to go, you get in a hurry packing up. You might forget that strap. And when do you find out you've lost your strap? 12 miles down the trail. You don't want that to happen. Okay? So there's a cinch buckle for you. Real simple. There you go. Looks pretty easy. And it is. 
And that's why I recommend it for new folks. It's why I use it. I, I've tried whoopee slings. I've tried uh, descender rings. A number of different uh, things. I keep going back to the cinch buckle. Because it's easy. After I've hiked all dang day long, I want something that's easy to do. Okay? I'm a lazy old fart in addition to being a cheap old fart. Uh, so, uh, that's why I use uh, the cinch buckle. Okay? Your mileage may vary, but if you're just now starting out, if you're ordering a hammock uh, and they give you the option to order it with cinch buckles, that would be my recommendation. They're very easy to change out. It's one of the great things about hammocks is they're easy to modify by yourself. Uh, if you are making your own hammock, I would suggest getting a continuous loop and cinch buckles uh, just for the like I said, the ease of erection. <laughs> he said erection. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's it on cinch buckles. That's what I recommend for new folks. Uh, in the meantime, we'll see you down the trail.